Hey everybody, Duke from Vantage Pro here with James from Campsys. And we are looking at some really not sexy stuff because it's the control side of life, right? Yeah. But it's the stuff that makes your system work. It's it's the backbone of your system. And you guys are doing some really cool stuff with network and, and getting our lighting system. So talk to us about the new genetics lineup and kind of some of what you guys are doing here. Yeah, so genetics is kind of, as you said, the glue between control and the fixtures. Right. It's you know, DMX nodes, Ethernet switches, PoE devices, etc. So first off, we've got our install nodes, the GW2 INO. Input and output, male and female ports. They actually both do DMX in or out. You can use turnarounds with them. Okay. Um, install, PLE powered over the, the, the data pair. Yeah. Power over data pair. Um, and the web server for configuring with our QuickU console. It's no plug and play. There's a network device okay. in there. You plug them in, you configure devices. You don't even need to know what an IP address is. Dead <laughs> simple to configure. <laughs> That's good. That's it's good. Perfect for that QuickU ecosystem. Right. Oh, that's cool. So, so you said something that's important there. So, you said even though it's a male and a female uh, connectors on these, they can be configured one input, one output, Great. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that's awesome. Configure them via the web server from the console. Yeah, yeah. Via ArtNet. Yeah. Multiple that's very ways. cool. And then we have the GN two, five, and ten. Two port, five port, ten port. Pretty simple. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the two port. This one here. This one uh, for those that remember the Campus little two universe USB box. Yeah, yeah. Replaces that, and is also a node as well. Okay. So on the back of it, we've got two DMX out. Right, right. It'll be PoE powered. Use it as a regular ArtNet streaming ACN node with any console. PoE, PoE plus. PoE. Just yeah, PoE. Just okay. PoE, yeah. yeah. Uh, USB C. So again, if you don't, you know, you're using it as a node with a regular right, right. console, you know, power it via your phone charger or something. Okay. Or whatever. Or use it as a USB interface with Magic UPC software. Okay. Well. So. Oh, very cool. Hang it in the rig. So it's got an M10 threaded insert and a little loop through for your safety bond. Fly it up in the rig. Yeah, yeah. And it also comes with a DIN rail mount clip as well for fixed installation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all of the Genetics products also have scene stores on them. So you can store 10 <laughs> static lighting scenes on the devices. Okay. So that could be, you know, fail safe. Console fails, we right, right. a scene. Or even without the console, that's where it gets more interesting when we talk about our GM5. GM5, yes, it's a five port node. And just like the GN2, it's got the USB. But around on the back of it, the GN5 and 10 uniquely do time code, MIDI, and 10 scene as well. Okay. So you can connect our 10 scene button stations directly to the GN5 and 10. Okay. And you can have this as a standalone controller. So, so that becomes architectural controller, yeah. Yeah. node, yeah, distribution, the whole, the whole yeah. thing. And then use that as the fixed 10 scene controller. And then when you want to do something a bit more clever, you plug in your console and use it as a node. Right. Yeah. It also, for touring lighting designers, great product. You know, if you're floor package, they can come in and run their floor package off the five lines. Right. They can take in time code locally from the artist on stage or okay. whatever, or MIDI, and send it out via network to the console. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that time code or use our own cabinet protocol as well. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, and, and so, like, does some stuff, does a lot more stuff. What does the big one do? The 10 port is everything the five does and five more ports, so 10 DMX port. It still does the MIDI, the time okay. code, the 10 scenes, all that good stuff on there. Uh, the 10 port is a rack mount only unit. It uh, has a power loop out as well for linking power inside okay. your rack. Okay. Uh, both the 5 and 10, you can hang in the rig as well. They have the M10 threaded insert. Sure. And the TM5 has the DIN clip as well for fixed install. Wow, that's cool. You even surprised me with a few things in there. So really, really powerful. Gives you a lot of flexibility yeah. with your rig. I mean, the thing I always like about these kinds of things too is, is you don't get locked into you know one universe. That's the downside of you know the old the old copper methodology, yeah. right? You whatever that's plugged into, that's all you get up there. With this, you can just reassign it. Yep. And talking copper method methodology, so we do DMX uh, our redundancy, our loopback. So what you can do is on any of the products, in fact, you can do it between products. You can, we've always been telling people, you always go in, tear out, in, tear out, et cetera. Right, right. Yeah, you would do that. But you can come out of your last fixture and come back into another port on the node. Oh. And then you have a loop of DMX. And okay. if something fails, oops, someone breaks DMX cable, something gets unplugged, you've got redundancy. So DMX can go both ways around the chain. Oh, wow. And that'll work across products as well. So I yeah. could have you know, a GN10 at one end, and another GN10 at the other end can go straight you know, fixed fix to, into the node. Again, if there's a break in the cable or anything, I've got redundancy, data will go both ways. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And all of this, all of this simple computer control. Yeah, again, all of them you can configure via the web server, configure from a console. You can configure them via ArtNet as well, so other consoles okay. that can control over ArtNet can configure these nodes remotely as well. 
And of course, the Gen 2, 5, and 10 have got a nice color display and, configuring. Well. And being a web server, I assume I can get to it via iPad as well, you right? Can, yeah, yeah. Anything that's on the same network. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Home, yeah. uh, pricing on this stuff, uh, low 300s all the way up to, what, a uh, little, little, little under 1300, right? Yeah. Yeah. So very cost effective, tons of control, um, and basically just all the really great ways to give yourself flexibility and make your lighting rig work. So uh, very cool stuff. Genetics product line from Campsys. Uh, for more information or to talk to us how this might fit your application, uh, hit us up, vantageproav.com.